Pour Some Sugar On Me, Def Leppard's 1988 number 2 US hit, has plenty of obvious references to sex, but also some lyrics that defy easy explanation. Joe Elliott finally clears up all the confusion, well, almost, during this episode of You Think You Know Classic Rock? Def Leppard got their start far away from the arenas they'd eventually pack as superstars in the 80s. In fact, their very first show was in 1978 at a high school gymnasium in their hometown of Sheffield. The band reportedly smuggled beer into the venue by placing it inside the bass drum. The spelling of the band's name was originally the more conventional D-E-A-F-L-E-O-P-A-R-D, but reportedly inspired by Led Zeppelin, they cut out a couple of vowels and wound up with the now famous version instead. Def Leppard doesn't have a regular keyboard player, so they had to bring in a ringer to complete 1983's Pyromania. They used Thomas Dolby of She Blinded Me With Science fame. Def Leppard drummer Rick Allen might have walked away from his scary December 1984 accident miraculously unharmed had his arm not become entangled with an improperly fastened seatbelt. As his car flipped, Allen was ejected, but his limb was left behind. He later relearned the drums with a specially designed kit. After his recovery, Def Leppard returned with the 1987 blockbuster Hysteria, which ultimately spun off a staggering six U.S. Top 40 hits. But it didn't start out that well. In fact, the album's initial single, Women, barely cracked the top 100. Luckily, the second single, Animal, connected much more widely, setting off a parade of hit singles that have so far helped the album sell over 12 million copies. So back to Pour Some Sugar On Me. We all get the hint when Def Leppard talks about peaches and cream. But what about living like a lover with a radar phone? Living like a lover with a radar phone. Or the title itself. Ask to decipher that, Joel Elliott says, it's not for me to tell you, it's there for you to interpret. Press further on the exact meaning, however, he finally admits, not a clue. That's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page to see more great videos. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out more of the best in classic rock coverage on ultimateclassicrock.com. Classic Rock.com.